Okay, so the idea here is to have an alarm clock that would help someone rise with the sun. We have a photoresistor here, and basically what this will be doing is be sensing the amount of sunlight that is entering the room, where this would be positioned by a window. Depending on how much light the resistor gets, it changes the amount of voltage going through to the Arduino. If the voltage is in a certain range, it'll trigger the first sequence, which will play a gentle melody through the speaker to get the person to wake up. The melody will keep going unless interfered with by the snooze button. The snooze button will cause a delay in the code for five minutes, and then it'll play the second sequence via the speaker, which will be a lot more intense, really making the person like, wake up! Okay, so we have a few issues, and by we, I mean I, and by a few, I mean many. I simply cannot create a strong enough mechanical joint between the input pieces and the wires that connect them to the breadboard. If I had, if I had the soldering skills and the soldering iron, I probably could get this complete to that level. However, I have neither, and so I will put it back to its prior standing and make a proper demonstration to at least show how good the idea could have been. Or is. I think it's still a pretty good idea because essentially it works, just not with the form factor and appearance that I hoped. All right, so let's set that back up. If the photoval is over 500 and the button state is high, then the Arduino will switch to the intense track. Okay, and here we have the Rise and Shine Morning Alarm Clock. So this alarm clock works by sensing the amount of light in a room via this photocell. The photocell has been set so that if it receives an input of over 500, it will begin a sequence of alarms. The first one being a calm, serene alarm that will gently wake someone up until they cover the photo cell. The second alarm is an intense alarm in case they press the snooze button. It will give them five minutes of peace until they're rudely awakened and forced to start their day. You may be wondering, there's no off button, so how does the alarm clock turn off? Well, it's a simple answer. The finished version would have had a blanket in which you could tuck the alarm clock in. Therefore, covering the photocell and giving it a reading of zero and not activating it. What you would do before you go to bed, untuck the alarm clock and have it set so that in the morning when the sun rises, so do you. Let's plug this in and see how it does. First, we gotta kill the lights. There are five LEDs in the front, two sets of two and one singular LED in the center. 
These use a for loop to have them cycle on and off while the person sleeps and the alarm clock is on. What this does is lets them know that the alarm clock is on without having an annoyingly bright light. Instead, it would flash sweet dreams out the front. Then, when the sun rises, it triggers the first serene and calm alarm. The alarm will cycle until the photo cell gets a reading of less than 500, signaling that the user has woken up and tucked the alarm clock back in. If the user hits the snooze button, at the end of the first cycle, it will go into a delay. Then, we'll get to the intense tone. The tone will end, but it'll cycle again since the photostyle still hasn't been covered. All right, and there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed the Rise and Shine Alarm Clock.